I get a feeling there's going to be a riot. What's up guys, so we're back here with commentary. Um, it's not going to be too long, I would rather you guys enjoy the uh, enjoy the raw footage of the workout. Basically it's a back and buy session, so a um, few, few bits of footage uh, from what I did on the day. Um, started with uh, a vertical pull, uh, then a um, power, no, I can't remember what it's called now. Anyway, started with that pull down, started then with uh, the low row uh, cable pulls, um, then a bit of, from the old buyers, um, then did the lateral um, pull downs, uh, extensions, the more dumbbell rows, um, did hit a few other exercises on the day, uh, bicep curls, um, preacher curls, and um, I did um, rack pulls and um, what's that? I've forgotten, can't remember. Anyway, a couple more, but either way, the point is, I didn't really want to talk too much over this commentary, uh, over this footage, so um, do uh, enjoy it. Uh, I just want to say, take the time now to say thank you to everyone who's liked and subscribed so far. Um, please do continue to do so, uh, it really does help. Um, I am extremely grateful to everyone, uh, but enjoy the rest of this, um, enjoy the rest of this workout, guys, and I'll uh, catch you guys in the next clip. My ears are ringing but having my music so loud. Let's finish up on a back and bicep. I'm about to munch on my cookies and cream, my protein bar. There is. I'm gonna have a shake when I get home. Just mainly because I'm hungry. Uh, it's a good session today. Got some uh, footage for you. Um, 
I wanted to uh, talk to you guys quickly about, um, oh sweaty, <laughs> ignore that, um, probably is hot, why not that window, I wanted to uh, tell the time quickly before I start driving home, talk to you guys about how I'm feeling, I had a bit of a fallout this morning, I won't say who, but um, Naysayers, negative people, and doubters, guys. Don't need them. Don't need them at all. There's something you want to do, go do it. The moment you start asking for opinions from other people, and these other people, 9 to 10, won't have a clue what you're on about, they'll have no expertise in what it is you want to do anyway. So, in actual fact, their opinion doesn't matter whatsoever. The moment you start asking for that, and the moment they start giving you negative or doubtful comments and stuff, is the moment you start doubting yourself. I'm not having that. I'm not. I'm not doubting myself. I've. There's certain things I want to do. There's certain things I want to achieve. I have goals in my mind. I have goals that I'm working towards right now, and I'm gonna. I'm gonna smash those goals. No matter what other people say. The more people that doubt me, the more negative comments I get. The more I want to prove them wrong. The more that I want to say, you know, in a year, two years time, or whatever, how long it takes, I want to be able to go back and say, well, actually, no, you know, not say anything. I'll probably just be smug about it. Just smile. I'll just, I'll just be like, told you I could do it. I'm not having a guy. I'm not, I don't do doubters. I don't do negative people. I cut them out of my life. Check this out. <laughs> it's like a little circus bike. But yeah, point is guys, and I'm sorry to rant, don't want to rant, but it's just something I just wanted to share with you guys. There's, you're always going to have people who are going to be negative about what you want to do, people that are going to laugh at what you're going to do, or what you do, they're going to they're gonna say, why are you doing that for? Why do you want to do that? What's the point? You're not going to be able to do it. You can't achieve that, you can't do that. I'm going to do whatever I want to do, and I'm going to do whatever I want to do, and I'm going to get the goals, and I'm going to achieve whatever it is I want to achieve. So, if you're going to be negative against me, by all means, but I don't care, because I'm the only one, I'm the only one who says whether I can or can't do something, not anybody else. And that's the way, that is the way that I, I am. It wasn't always like that. I, uh, I always, always ask opinions of people, always, you know, took into consideration what other people used to say. I used to be really self-conscious, you know, I used to care about what the person next to me thought. But you know what, little by little, bit by bit, I've learned the only person you should care about, the only opinion, you should care about is your own. That's it. That's it. That's it. But yeah. Anyway, enough of the rant. Rant is over. Going to head out because we're going. Families all coming over for uh, going out again for Mum's birthday. Mum's fiftieth. Going to an Italian restaurant. So what I've done is I've I've had my break. I've only had one meal so far today. I've had my breakfast. Uh, it's quite. a quite a large meal I suppose because I know that we're going to an Italian restaurant which means it's going to be high cut, higher carbs probably decent amount of fat as we know with Italian restaurants they like to use a lot of oil and whatnot in all their food and stuff so I've uh, kept quite a lot of my fats back and quite a lot of my carbs as well protein um, moderate because I doubt there'll be much uh, you know protein or not in the, in the meals it's more a case of it's pasta with chicken not chicken with pasta that makes sense and whatnot. So there's more more pasta than there is chicken and stuff. So or whatever I'm gonna have. So, but yeah, I'm gonna head back, go have a shower because I'm actually running late as always. Um, and then uh, I'll take you guys with me to the restaurant. So catch you guys in the next clip. So I realised I haven't actually given you guys a bit of a, a form update at all. Um, obviously we're trying to get back to um, as close to competition level as possible without going crazy. Um, so it's six week, It's two weeks since the competition. Um, 
six weeks of the competition, um, and basically, sorry, sorry again, two weeks since the competition, um, two weeks from Saturday to yesterday, um, today the 21st um, of June, basically uh, I want to give you guys a bit of form update, so past two weeks, um, the first week of the competition I didn't go to the gym at all, had the whole week off, um, and a whole week off my diet as well, um, and then the second week I jumped into the gym, um, back into the gym, but then um, I also had another week off the diet as well, um, just basically give myself a bit of a relax, um, basically that was it, only reason. So a bit of a form update for you guys. Um, Obviously, as you can tell straight away, loss of definition in my abs. I've kept quite a lot of definition in the arms, um, but we'll be working to get these bad boys back. Um, I'll just go back from the gym from a, a back and bio uh, workout. Um, yesterday, I woke up at 85.4, and this morning, I woke up at 84.6. So, um, half a kilo loss straight away, just from being back in the diet already. So, um, I'm going to keep that going down to probably. I don't really want to go down as light as a 75 because over the next six weeks I want to also um, put on some mass as well and build some muscle um, so I want to lose the fat and build muscle at the same time if possible um, no, as no one has ever said you know well you know there's no reason why you can't build muscle at the same time as losing fat at all um, I don't believe in that um, so I'm going to show you guys how to do it so basically I want to lose the fat um, uh, lose my fat uh, that I put back on because <laughs> there's, there's a bit of it. All the biscuits, all the, all the chocolate, everything, and all the ice cream. Have a bit of Ben and Jerry's. Ben and Jerry's. All those ice cream games. Um, anyway, yeah, um, back to it. Uh, but then, obviously, put on some uh, lean mass as well. So, target weighing is going to be 80k. Um, but we're going to be as lean as possible. So, right at the end of mine. Yeah. A bit of a bunch. And then, um, a bit. A glass of wine. Road strawberry. Ooh, that's it guys. This concludes the this weekend's vlog. Mum's fiftieth. It's a little awesome cake in the end. I didn't have any. Could have stopped it. That's such a excuse me. Big meal. Um earlier on. Just couldn't couldn't stop it. I sit up. Can't stomach it. So time is now about half past eleven, I think. Yeah, about half eleven. Everyone's finished going home. Get up downstairs and stuff. So I'm doing some uh, my YouTube stuff. Gonna head off to sleep. And uh, that's it. So. I'll catch you guys in the next vlog. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure you do like, subscribe to the channel. Lots of stuff coming up. Lots of uh, fun and exciting things to, to vlog and to, to share with all you guys. So, But yeah, thank you to all those who have watched so far. And... Uh, don't forget to share it, but otherwise, thank you. So, good night. I get a feeling there's going to be a riot.